um, 7 over 5. LCM in this case would be 15. And you would say 3 and 15, 5 times, 5 times 13, and 5, 5, 3 is 15, which would be 65. Um, please um, excuse my poor drawing. Right, and then you say five into fifteen goes three times, and three seven would be twenty-one. Right, you'd minus these, and then, then hold on one second. Minus twenty-one, which would give you forty-four over fifteen. Right. And then you would simply divide that by 4 over 15. So let me try to draw that pretty quick. 44 over 15. And now you would divide that by 4 over 15. All right? So in math, dividing by a number is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal, right? So that'll be 44 over 15 multiplied by 15 over 4, right? So when you cancel these, and then you divide 44 by 4, you should get 11. And that's how they get the answer right there. Right. Everyone clear on that? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so back to the Question, people. This um, similar similar um, operation, bod mass, you'd have to work out what's in the bracket first. So what's in the bracket is 3.1 minus 1.15, right? 3.1 minus 1.15. So we will do our simple mathematical subtraction here. Once again, please excuse the, um, the drawing. Okay, so in this case, I'll put a zero here for as a placeholder. So we'll do our, our regular subtraction here. Five, two, minus ten. That would be 1.95 when you subtract 1.15 from 3.1, right? I could use the calculators. Um, that would make life much easier for you. So once you do that, then you would square that. Um, and 1.95 squared would give you 3.8025, right? Then... You would divide that 3.8025 by 0 0.005, right? When you put that in the calculator, easily, that will give you your solution, um, which should be... 760.5. Let's go back to the solution to see if that's the answer. Yes, that's the answer. So in these questions, you could simply just plug in the, the numbers in your calculator and then you'd arrive at the answer very easily. All right, so for question, the next question, which is question one part B now, 
right? So it says, a, a store is promoting a new mobile phone under two plans, plan A and plan B. The plans are advertised as uh, shown in the table below. So you have plan A um, having the deposit being $400, monthly installment being $65, number of monthly pay being $12, and tax on all payments being 0%. All right? Plan B, um, the figures are a bit different. The deposit would be $600, the monthly installment $80, the number of monthly pay would be less six and but on plan b you have a tax on all payments right so it says calculate the total cost of phone under plan a meaning if you were to buy the phone under plan a right how much would the total cost be right so move on to the solution here all right so for this now you'd have to add the initial deposit to the product of the number of months to repay and the, the other one. Let's get the figures, make sure I'm saying the right thing. Okay, yes. So you would multiply the deposit, which would be, let me annotate. One second. This deposit, you would add it to the product of the monthly installments and the number of months to repay. So the number of months um, would be 12, and the monthly installment you'd have to multiply the $65 by the 12 and add it to the initial deposit, which would be 400. So it would look something like 400 plus bracket 65 times 12 and seeing as how there are there is a zero percent tax on all payments you would have to include that in the calculation when you plug this into your calculator you should get this answer right here which is 1180 right so for plan B Oh, well, let me go back to the, the next question before you get there. Um, okay, you guys are seeing my screen still, right? Seeing everything on the screen? I'm on the question paper now. You guys have seen that? I can see it, I can see it. Okay, great. Um, so the next part of the question says, determine which of the two plans, A or B, is the better deal and to justify your answer. So now you'd have to put a little explanation into your answer rather than just leave the calculation there. All right. So in this one, you'd have to add the initial deposit to the product of... Wait, we're still seeing the solution screen. Oh, okay. Hold on. Okay, so you seeing the question paper now? Still not seeing it. Oh, we're seeing it now. Okay, great. All right, so the second part of the question says, determine which of the two plans, A or B, is the better deal. And you have to justify your answers. So um, at this point, you can't just leave the calculation there. You have to put an explanation after you've calculated your answer, right? Else you won't get the full two marks. So, um, excuse me. Yeah. Excuse me. Um, can we try to answer it first before you do it for us? And then after, okay. if we get, you could see where we went wrong. Answer. So, say it again. I'm asking if you could let us do it first before letting before um doing it for us, so we could try to understand it by ourselves first, and then. Okay. Okay. Could, no problem. No problem. No problem. All right, so um, go ahead and and attempt that one. You could start. You could scroll back up a little bit, please. Like scroll back up to the and like zoom it down a little bit so I could see the question properly. All right, can you see now? Yeah. All right, great.
Um, did you get an answer for I, for B I? Um, that would be one thousand one hundred and eighty. Oh, okay. Yeah, good to see. All right, great, great. Um, has everyone attempted attempted um part two? Attempted it, no. Okay. Um, I, I cannot see part two. Okay, I'm gonna go back to it. Can you see it now? Yeah, thank you. Can you scroll back up a little bit, please, so I can see what yeah. plan we have? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Plan A and plan B is better. Uh, yeah, that would be correct. That would be correct. So what would what what, what is the value you got for plan B? The for plan B I get one thousand one hundred and twenty eight. Uh, one thousand one hundred and twenty eight? Yeah. All right, so that that's very close actually. That's very close. close? I'm gonna yeah. try it over. Go back and okay. Five percent tax and all payments. It is. Yeah, it's for twenty Oh, oh, I know where I go. Wrong. Um, I got 1,082.16 for plan B. Plan B, I get 1,104. 1,104? Yeah. Okay, so uh -huh. 1,128 was the closest answer to the solution. Right? Let me work it out for you just now. Okay. So in this case, right, you have the tax that you should add on to it, right? Yeah. Okay, so that would be 600 plus 80 times 6 plus the 5%. All right. Well, the 5% is like, a, is like you have to get 5% on each month of payments or? No, 5% on everything. So oh. you first. So oh, first, oh. Yeah. yeah. All right. So five percent of mic. Uh, let me let me know if I want the solution. All right. Let me see what what you did wrong. Um, let me try to understand because you have to remember that you have to do everything first up here. You have to multiply um, eight, 80 by 6 to get 480. You yeah, add the count to 600. That's a grand total. And after a grand total, you multiply it by 5%, then you add on that value. Yeah, exactly. I missed out. I Oh, sorry about that.
All right, I get it. 1,134. Yeah, okay, that's the correct answer. Well done. Um, I'll just annotate the solution. Did everyone attempt? Yeah. Everyone attempt? Yeah. Okay, great. So for this one, um, we have the 600, right? Added. So the product of 80, right, hold on, one second. I'm trying to find a better way to annotate this. All right. All right. Okay, lovely. So I'll erase the, the drawing I had first. One second. Okay. okay. So for you to have the 600 plus product of the monthly installments and the number of months you have to repay, right? And then you add the 5% to that. Now you have two ways you could work out that. You could multiply the whole solution by 5% by 5% and then add it back to the original total or you could multiply everything by 105 percent which should be five percent added on to the to the complete total right so 100 percent 105 percent would be 1.05 right i like to work out this way because it's faster so when you plug that into your calculator you should get um the solution which would be 1134 wait um pardon one sec what do you yeah. get 1.05? Okay, so in percentages, when you add on tax, you're adding it to the total value, which would be 100%. 100% of the value would be the total. Yeah. Right. And um, you put them um, a plus and for multiplication sign. It's 80 times 6. Oh, oh. yeah, my bad. My bad. My bad. But like I said, um, it could be either way if you're more comfortable. Okay, you could, or you could say times. 5%, which is 0 0.05, right? And then you add it back to this total after you, you find 0.05% of it. Or a shorter way would be to multiply it by 1.05, which would be 105%. Because if you're adding 5% tax on something, you're adding 5% to the total, which is 100%. So I find, so if, if, you, if you do it both ways, you'll find that you get the same answer. This way yeah. after. If I say you just put everything together one time. Yeah. Right. So if you just, just put this in a calculator one time, you get the answer one time. Right? Same thing if you're finding um a discount. Yeah, if it was like a five percent discount, you would multiply it by ninety five percent rather than find finding five percent of the total and then minusing minusing that five percent from the total, right? It's just a quicker way, rather than having to cut, rather than have to add it back and then subtract or add, you know. All right, so we're finished with that question. Um, let me get to the solution page just to show you guys that the solution is in fact um, one thousand. One second. Um, I'm trying to find. Okay. Are, are you guys seeing that the, the solution page? Yes. Okay, great. So you see that right. Uh, right here. And the solution is in fact 1,134. And that means that yes, plan B is better than plan A because you end up spending less, right? Okay, great. So you'd have, you'd have to put that statement um, in, in the paper when you're doing it. 
the statement beside well we beneath or beside the answer. All right, that's the only way you could get the full marks there. All right. All right, so next. So, um, screen. Sure. Okay, lovely. So back to the lesson paper. All right, it says John's. This is quest this is part C to the first question. Right. So John's monthly electricity bill is based on the number of kilowatt hours of electricity that he consumes for that month, right? He is charged $5 per kilowatt hour of electricity consumed. For the month of March 2016, two meter readings are displayed in the table below, right? So calculate the total amount that John pays for electricity consumption for the, for the month of 2016. All right, so I'll give you guys Two minutes or three minutes to attempt it and then i'll go ahead and and go to the solution The answer sixty six dollars and thirty cents. Uh, no, no. How, how did you get that though? How did you get that? I get that by like adding up the ending of March, the end of the thirty first of March, uh, multiplied by. 13 because 3 plus 3 is 6 plus 7. This could, you, could you repeat that? Repeat that, please. Sorry. Yeah. The end of math, like the two the total meter readings is uh -huh. is um, 13. And if 5 dollars and 10 cents is charged for each for the each M thing, then I multiply 13 by 5.10. But okay, I see, I see what you did there. I see what you did there. I guess I have to add the top two with it. Okay, so for this one. It's not that you're adding the numbers, right? So the meter reading, the kilowatt hours for the ending of March would be 3,307 kilowatt oh. hours. Oh. Yeah. All right. Wait, can I repeat what you said? Okay, so um, I'm just going to give you a hint. So for the meter readings, it's not that you're adding these individual numbers. For the ending, okay, let me get the, the, the pen and draw. It's not that like it, you're not adding these individual numbers. So the so the meter reading for the end of March will be three thousand three hundred and seven, right? Similar for the beginning, it will be three thousand and eleven, right? Oh, I think I know what to do. Yes. All right, the meeting will be ending. Shortly, you guys want to continue? After? Yes, let's reuse the same link, okay? Okay, no problem. I got $91.80. Now, okay, can you explain what you did this time? Yeah, well, um, um, I multiplied the three the numbers by the five dollars and ten cents. And then I add it all. All right. So rate is basically a calculation of the difference between two different, like different yeah. things. If you want to know like how much you consume. All right. So if you have like distance traveled, right? You move from point A. Point A is zero. And you move to point B. Point B distance between point A and point B is the difference between where you're coming from and where you're going. So you're minus zero from 17.